leading us in the call to worship this morning is this young man, Mr. Alan Williams. I was glad when they said unto me, let us come into the house of the Lord. Songs 1, 22 and 1. Good morning, Macedonia. Can we all please stand? Let's look, let us look on unto the Lord. <clears throat> Dear Heavenly God, we pray that you just bind every bind all the spirits in here, God. Make it one of your spirits. Make it one of yours, God. We're just praying that you just take all the negative and and oh man. Take all the negative thoughts that are in people's heads. Take them away, God. Because the enemy knows we're gonna minister and he wants us to he wants us to stop. He wants us to think otherwise. We're not performing, we're ministering because we're in your house. And we need to acknowledge that. Because you are a great God. You are the one that can turn water into a wine, God. You're the one that can heal the blind, God. Yeah. We're just praying that you just set some miracles in here, God. Make some miracles in here, God. I see a couple right now, God. I am one. We are one. Jesus, we love you. We praise you. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. I have one question. Is anybody ready to chase after God? Yeah. So I'm going to call out our children's director. Come on, let's give it up for Kishana Beasley. Yeah. Come on, y'all can do a little better than that. Macedonia. We're so excited to be here and able to minister to you some of the things that we've been learning over in Ignite Kids. We have a lot of things that we cover, but we are going to talk about the fruit of the spirit today. And we're going to also talk about the armor of God. That's some of the things that we've been discussing over the last few weeks. Um, and we learn in a different, uh, a lot of different ways in Ignite Kids. Sometimes we do active learning. Sometimes we do meaningful learning. And then sometimes we do rote learning, which means just memorization. And we do that because we recognize Psalms 119 and 11 says, Thy word I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. And so we're requiring them to know the word. We have to start to recite it so that it becomes just everyday language. So that when they come up against battles or they're facing trials and temptations, they have the word down in their heart. Amen. And so I'm going to see if some of our uh, leaders can come down. And then I'm going to check in with some of the rest of the children. So what we're going to do is we're going to do some of our memory verses that we have learned. And then some of the other children are going to do some representation of some of the things that we talked about. Amen. Okay, so I'm just going to check in with them because, you know, they're over here and it's a lot of people. So I'm going to check in and make sure they're ready. So Ignite Kids, uh, we are going to do our memory verse about the fruit of the Spirit. Do you all think you can help me with that? Yeah! Okay, good check-in. All right, so on the count of three, can you all give us the memory verse for the fruit of the Spirit on the count of three? All right, one, two, three. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. All right. Awesome. Awesome. And where can we find that? All right.
Good morning, Macedonia. We are Ignite Kids, and we have been learning about the battle or fight that we will face as Christians. And we know that with any battle, it is important to know your enemy. Battle strategy number one. Know your enemy. The devil. This is important because many times when we are going through things, we are tempted to fight each other instead of recognizing our true enemy. This is the scheme of the devil. Battle strategy number two. This is important because this is not a physical fight, but a spiritual fight. The armor of God includes the belt of truth, the breastplate of righteousness, feet fed up with the gospel, helmet of salvation, and sword of the spirit. What are those pieces of armor again, Jameson? What are those pieces again? The belt of truth, breastplate of light, righteousness, feet fed up with the gospel. Helmet of Salvation, Sword of the Spirit, and the Shield of Faith. The first piece of armor we are to put on is the belt of truth, the truth about who God is. Just like... Just like a natural belt is placed at the center of our body, our belt of truth must center everything we say and do. And just like our natural belt keeps our clothes from falling and getting us tripped up. The belt of truth helps us to not get tripped up in the schemes of the devils, but to use God's truth to guide us. said we also talked about um, exalting God and exalting him above all of the other things that we might be facing whether that's fear whether that's anxiety making sure that his name is above all other names and so that's the song that we want to minister on today be exalted Amen. Amen. 